Good morning to all my YouTube family. Uh, we are right now in Shillong. Super ki time hai. Early it's 5 a.m. in the morning. So, thoda dhire bol raho. We stayed in this beautiful police mess. Uh, police mess ke baare mein agar aapko knowledge chahiye, I have made a reel. Uh, you can check that on my Instagram, Veem dot Tales. Uh, we are now going to meet DGP sir, L R Bishnoi sir. So, abhi subah ke time hai. Abhi shoot hai. Ham log koi tak battalion mein jayenge. Kuch morning ke shoot hai. Wo to ab aage dhire dhire dekhte hi rahoge. Till then. Uh, Please follow us, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also support us in the link in the description below. So the time ni, let's go and meet sir. Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, if he is no friend of me. It's not working now, maybe it's I didn't expect it, like being one of the senior most personality, I thought you would just come for 10 minutes and it would be finishing. Like, how is that energy going up? It's, a, it's always a fun to have exercise huh. with Jawans because okay. Jawans are the gem of the police. Huh. And we always emphasize on physical fitness of Jawans. If constabulary hmm. is physically fit, mm -hmm. most of our work is done. Mm -hmm. So now uh, we are uh, giving a lot of emphasis on the physical fitness of the constabularies. Mm. And we have found after recording the BMIs of all the, const the Jawans mm. and officers in the district as well as battalion, mm. that nearly 25% Jawans are overweight. Mm. So to improve the physical fitness, mm. uh, we have taken certain initiatives. We have opened the WhatsApp groups uh, okay. for all the districts and all the battalions. 
and we have started the morning PT parade <laughs> and uh, other exercises <laughs> and some obstacle courses were there in the battalion they were not in use <laughs> so we have discussed with the senior officers and we have renovated Achha. and uh, all the, the the obstacle courses and now the joans and the officers they started using obstacle courses obstacle courses uh, generally it is done after the uh, physical training or PT and the running etc so it gives a lot of stamina endurance and improves the physical fitness of the joans as well as the officer so we have opened the whatsapp groups and Achha. they are sending the photographs of the you personally go through that yeah yeah personally i am also a member of that group Achha. and all the districts and all the battalions what ah. activities in the morning and ah. evening they are doing okay. so i am getting uh, sitting in the office i can see with their photographs ah. that they are doing it regularly and if hmm. any battalion is not doing i immediately remind them to start those exercises ah. and i'm hoping that within a quarter within 3 hmm. months hmm. we can improve the bmis hmm. and now the normal bmi standard of the whole meghalaya police is 75% so within 3 months we will improve it to 90% and then rest 10% we will take care along with this we have started counseling for those constables who are extremely overweight and hmm. the, who have some other diseases and the drinking habits hmm. so for that also the with the help of the battalion doctors and others uh, we we have in get them for counseling and mm-hmm. they are doing good jobs mm-hmm. so hopefully within 3 months we will be able to improve the physical standards huh. because now present physical standards uh, is miles away from the desired levels huh. Huh. and we want to make it up to the desired level within 3 huh. months so that is our the targets huh. other than that we have started forming the various teams the huh. various teams in the meghalaya police like the football traditionally it has been very strong huh. but we so have we started yeah yeah we have started uh, the forming teams for mm-hmm. the other sports also uh-huh. and they are doing good jobs and uh, we are hopeful that uh, the, it will uh, motivate others and uh-huh. secondly uh, that those who have done very good in the sports and uh-huh. other activities we are giving them instant reward cash reward as well uh-huh. as the dgp's commendation certificate and uh-huh. appreciation certificates uh-huh. so the people are feeling good uh-huh. initially there was a little bit reluctance and uh-huh. hesitations but now everybody is cooperating and we are working as a team and i am also feeling extremely good after seeing their physical standards so as you take talking about bmi i think like standing beside you i think i should take care of my bmi as well but connecting to that uh, sir you said about physical fitness which is a very good part of policing but do you uh, focus on mental fitness as well because that is a vital part of policing uh, yeah so, see the the mental fitness is completely and closely associated with your physical fitness yeah. if one is physically fit automatically he will feel better huh. he will feel happy and healthy huh. so mental well being of any individual is directly associated with the physical well being hmm. so that is why our first step is the improve the physical standards and the second after even after that hmm. if someone is uh, found uh, uh, the problematic in the mental and other health so those we will take the help of the a qualified counselors okay no as we were talking about the drinking habits and all so there some mental counseling is also needed no uh, in every hospital in every unit and uh, this battalions uh-huh. we have uh, our medical staffs also uh-huh. so we are taking their help we are organizing counseling session only for those who have resorted to uh, drinking habits by one or other way uh-huh. so just to take care of them that the, the counseling sessions are organized regularly uh-huh. and uh, we have noted the improvement but uh-huh. it is a, a consistent and uh, uh-huh. slow process uh-huh. it may take some time but i am hopeful that it will lead to it
looking back Mirror breaks after math When I hate, I attack
ganja or you call it cannabis you call it weed or some call it marijuana so this ganja mainly coming from either tripura or manipur heroin are coming either from manipur or from the mizoram so here the mizor society and the bar members are also there cookies are also there cookies are also residing in manipur if you have any linkage or any relation or any friend or relatives in the manipur so kindly keep in touch with them and if any information regarding the transportation of drugs comes to your notice to your friend in manipur please share with us many of the mizo community leaders are here many heroes are we are also receiving from the mizoram because mizoram has border with myanmar and more border is not far away so golden tiger area has close proximity to manipur and mizoram and meghalaya state is also not not far away. it takes one night take trucks from myanmar to the silong city so if you have any connection with your society if you have any connection with mizoram and if you come to know about the consignment of trucks coming this side please feel free to share information with police so that we can take immediate follow up action right from the beginning ha <laughs> <laughs> okay right. you are born and brought up here only yeah yeah so very you have cordial relation with all other community yeah we yeah. have no problem nope. okay. okay peaceful a uh, very peaceful so <laughs> is come correct man the head man of mother thing head man oh you your role is very important thank you sir you please come aaiye chaliye you can lead us from the front yeah. various communities mar community is there mar is a tribal community which have presence in assam meghalaya mizoram manipur then there is a kuki community which has presence here also in assam also and manipur also kuki mostly manipur mostly manipur then mizo community is there mainly mizoram but here also lot of mizo community is there and then nepali bihari is a marwadis and khasi so of course are there they have their beautiful churches so this, this may be one church you know here their people are mostly christians mostly 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 kya then uh, the, the khasi jentias and garos hmm. mostly they are christian but in khasi some khasi are there which are neither hindu nor christian Achha. they 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 worship natural objects okay. so they are known as sen khasi 
Sen? Sen mağazayı tuvaletim. How are you? Oh, where is your house? Oh, I'm staying just nearby, sir. Uh, and what, where are you working now? Oh, I'm putting shops, sir. Shops? You are running a shop? Yes, yeah, Shop of what? Shop of clothes. The clothes shop is there. So you are clothes merchant. And you are yeah, what? Khasi Mizo. You are Mizo. Oh, very good. Feeling comfortable here? No problem? No problem. Very good. Sir, policing changes like according to the tribal communities. Huh? Is policing changes according to the tribal communities? The aspect of policing? Uh, not much. Many things are common. The policing challenges in India more or less same everywhere, but ah. only local dynamics are different. Achha. Mostly otherwise same. Ah. Sylvester, in fact, with them. Hello, friends. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? So, what are you doing here? Yes. <laughs> Enjoying free time. Enjoying free time. Okay, okay. In this shop only. You have you have your own motorcycle? Yeah, yeah. This is your motorcycle. Oh. And what are you doing? You are studying. Where? Saint John. Saint John College or school? School. Which class? Ten. Class ten. Are class 10 and you are driving motorcycle. Very good. <laughs> when we were in class 10, we were not having even bicycles. And you are having motorcycles. See? You are lucky. <laughs> but, but don't do any illegal things, okay? You, you can do whatever you want to do, but only positive things. Stay away from drugs. In, in your locality, drug is a problem, I was told. Madan rating area? I don't know about this. You don't know at all. And in your college also no problem? So you are uh, playing some sports? Yeah, Which sports? Basketball. basketball. <laughs> Very good. And what about you? So even I play we, where? Even I play basketball. You play basketball. From and school? you have your own motorcycle? Uh, no. So the, you are wearing helmet now? <laughs> <laughs> Achha, you came with him. So you are having, enjoying free ride <laughs> with him. Okay. And what about you? Even I play basketball. You play basketball. And which class you are? Class 9. Class 9. Very good. Keep it up. Encourage other friends also to play sports. And what about you? Come here. What about you? Where are you studying? Same. St. John's College. Same school. Same school. And you are playing basketball. What about you? You are working here? You are working here, yeah. and you are residing here, and you are Mizo or Khasi? Sorai. Okay, Tur Tirpura. You are from Tirpura side. No, from Assam. From which area of Assam? Karim Ganj eh? area. But you are working here. Okay. So please stay away from drugs and other things, okay? And never, never go for drinking and other things. Eh? Never smoke, never drink, and remain away from drugs also. So what's happening? Huh? What's going on today? We are creating awareness about drugs in your locality and seeking cooperation of people. No problem otherwise. Huh? Have you visited police station? No. Try to visit police station sometimes. <laughs> Try to visit police station and understand how our police is functioning. How police personnel are doing their duty? Take your friend there. Yeah. And don't burn, waste so much fuel. Your father is giving free fuel to you. So from where you are purchasing? <laughs> you are not earning any money. So your father is giving you fuel. So fuel is there only for essential purpose. Yeah. Don't enjoy free ride, OK? <laughs> OK, thank you. This area is uh, murdering block F, sir. Full uh -huh. student, sir. Uh, no driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your name? Jaijan. Jaijan. Jaijan? Jaijan. Okay. And uh, the, the, since when you are driving your vehicle? This year. This year you have started driving? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you are not going to school? Uh, next year. <laughs> Next year? Yeah. Why not this year? Yeah. Yeah. Already late for you. Yeah, yeah. So please take care that in your vehicle, 
नो बॉडी शुड कैरी ड्रग्स ओके यू हैव टू टेक केयर इफ एनी ड्रग इज फाउंड इन द व्हीकल देन यू विल आल्सो बी इन प्रॉब्लम अलोंग विद द पर्सन सो यू टेल द पैसेंजर दैट नो बॉडी शुड सिट इन माई व्हीकल विद ड्रग्स और अदर इलीगल थिंग्स टेक केयर ओके very good keep it up how this driver's role is so important in the controlling the drugs in policing aspect so we have noted from our the, the experience as well as the registration and subsequent investigation of the cases that many drugs are taken either through the railways or through the roads so in road generally they use the small vehicles only for ganja they use the trucks and other things but for heroin and other psychotropic substances and cough syrup etc generally they use small and medium size vehicle and these taxi drivers also we have started creating awareness among taxi drivers also so that they should understand the nitty gritties of this transportation of drug business many vehicles were seized we have seen in in last one month we have seized nearly 20 vehicles and most of them were the the, the small cars and taxis okay. so they are using for transportation of drugs from where you are taken chennai bazaar bada bazaar and the tomatoes they are going to like the also tomatoes kano 50 rupees sir 50 rupees yeah, only bought from uh, oh, okay okay uh-huh. business is not good yeah. down very bad, <laughs> very bad. Why, why but but bad? still you are very happy <laughs> okay and then where they stay <laughs> see they are their business is down small shop is there uh-huh. but they are very happy uh-huh. this also boosts up na like when a senior officer like in a dgp is you know meeting them there is also bus we are there police is not aware it, it, it's a two way process na we uh-huh. can also understand their uh, the, the problems uh-huh. and try to solve it uh, as per our capacity uh-huh. and they can also know the functioning of the police uh-huh. so it is always a mutual cooperation which can solve many problems i have seen in between you crack jokes to make it more like you know interactive yes then they feel attached na otherwise ah. if we remain all the time serious ah. so then they they will remain away from the police yeah. Yeah. so just to strengthen the police public relations just to strengthen the police public relation one has to be concerned about their uh, day to day activities and uh, be behave like them only then only yeah. they will cooperate otherwise uh, they won't yeah. Asha, so this is a happy valley and market. This area is also happy valley area. Asha. And uh, because Assam Rifle Camp is here, so that is why it's a main market. Training center. Gorkha Training Asha, Center. Yes. Center. Yes. Uh, this is the main market. Now. This is a main market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a quite famous one. Like a lot of crowds are also there. No, no. Because crowd is here uh, cosmopolitan. Oh.
So in K9 unit in Meghalaya police, we have 12 number of dogs. Four are explosive dogs, four are tracker dogs, and four are trained for the narcotic detections. Out of these 12 dogs, 11 are uh, now camping at Silong, and one has been sent to 2nd Battalion Goraigiri in the West Garo Hill District, Tura. So explosive dogs are exclusively used uh, in advanced checking during the VVIP security moments. Tracker dogs are used during the uh, to, for tracking of criminals, particularly in those cases where the crime against property has happened. And these narcotic drugs are exclusively used by the, our SOT team as and when they get information about the transportation of drugs. Uh, invariably, they take drugs just to check the vehicles, etc. One or two cases recently successfully uh, we have utilized that, uh, the narcotic dogs and they, then they were able to locate the hidden drugs from the vehicles.